Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I plan to use my paper pack. So normally a paper pack will have 48 sheets or you know 30 sheets or 24 sheets depending on um, what is the brand that you have gone for. So basically this is a great paper, uh, paper pack and this has 48 sheets. I have another paper pack next to me. This is from uh, Craftastic and this has 20 sheets. So depending on the uh, brand it basically depends. So when I'm uh, looking at my paper pack, the first thing that comes to my mind is how do I plan to use it, right? Because it can be overwhelming at times and those are beautiful papers. You don't know how to actually cut them. So um, uh, first of all, I would look at what kind of designer papers I have. So there will be some border sheets. There will be some um, uh, tone on tone, tone on tone kind of papers. There will be some uh, papers would have some very busy backgrounds. So let me take you through that. I have already arranged this paper pack the way I wanted to show you guys. So first of all, I want to show you the busy background kind of papers, right? So, so for example, this one has 48 sheets and let me show you uh, what I mean by busy patterns. So this is something that I call as a busy pattern, be it this or this. So uh, these busy patterns, what I do with mostly uh, with them is I use them uh, maybe sometimes to fuzzy cut. If I li really like the images or I might use it as a front of my albums or cards. So not really as the background. So something like this. This could be used as a background as well or as the front uh, as it might suit you. So this is also something that I could, you know, go around and do some fuzzy cutting here. Another one of the busy patterns. And this. Next. Uh, I want to show you what do I mean by background paper. So you see the designs in this are very subtle and they look great for background or matting. So um, the, the ones that you will see now are really, really uh, kind of uh, uh, designer papers which would look great as backgrounds. So I mean, it's it again is your choice if you want to make it uh, as the front of your card or album. But yeah, mostly I use it for uh, photo matting or background. So that's, that's my kind of plan when I'm looking at my paper pack. I definitely look at my paper pack thoroughly to see what kind of papers I have and then plan to use them. So as you can see, these are kind of very um, simple kind of paper, simple patterns, which would go great as a background. Now, this one is something that um, can be used as a, a background. It can be even used as the front of your albums and the I, I mostly use these as to make some scrapbook layouts. OK, so um, you could paste a picture here. You could put some embellishments on the side and this would look great as a scrapbook layout. And same for this. If you if you see what I mean by that again, then there is a, already a, some uh, some very beautiful design in this paper paper and you don't have to do much okay you just have to put some photos here and there and you might have to write put some embellishments and you're good to go so i i save these papers for that use for scrapbook layouts now uh, most of the paper packs will have some border sheets as well so uh, if you okay this one makes it more clear so you see these look like borders and you can actually cut them and use that uh, you can just cut those strips and make use of them as border strips similarly with them then there would be some uh, embell uh, not embellishments i would say cut and create sheets so uh, this one has the tags and normally there will be some fuzzy cutting involved in such paper uh, paper packs and these are some journal cards so you see um, there are lots of actually elements and lots of um, ideas that actually come when you start looking at your paper pack and kind of that's is the way to kind of get started now there will be some paper packs wherein uh, you will not have uh, so many uh, so many different different types like you know i said there can be a scrapbook layout kind of paper and then there could be something like a busy or you know some kind of back background kind of so for example this one so this one this one has 20 sheets and there are 18 designer sheets and two element sheets. Okay, uh, let me just take you through these. So first of all, this is a very, very busy 
paper right very busy design so i could go around and cut these roses which i am really loving and i could also use it as the front of my card and since it is very beautiful there will be no more the need of embellishing it a lot similarly this is a butterfly paper and this also you can go around and fuzzy cut but then again you could use it as a uh, front of your card i i really love the hot balloons in this paper pack i i definitely want to use uh, all my fuzzy cutting scissors to go around and cut those hot air balloons i uh, yeah i might use it as a front as well but yeah i kind of like it in that way and then this is again kind of a uh, busy pattern only so you see most of the uh, pattern design patterns in this paper pack are busy so you could use it definitely as a front of your card so even this and this and this is very pretty this is uh, i mean i would say uh, less busy than compared to others that we saw till now right so uh, in fact you could use it as a background and this one again is very beautiful and it will be great as the front of your card or album again this is also very pretty so this is this also will be great for the uh, front of your cards and this is finally the element pack that comes with it so you can you have you have to go you know around these images and fuzzy cut them out so that is also some fun fun part of this paper pack so as you saw most of this paper in this paper pack uh, the most of the designer papers were very busy right and what comes to my mind is that i'll use it as a front of my um, cards or my albums definitely you can choose to do it other way right and uh, yeah but that's how that's how i go about it so these are the two paper packs that i showed you today in fact there are uh, lots of other paper packs and that's how i plan my we i mean plan my projects right so how i want to go about them i would like to know how you plan out your paper pack how you plan to use them and you know uh, would like to get some ideas from you as well so great thank you so much for watching and have a great day Bye-bye.